There for a second, a little beverage. All right, tonight, I think the quote was, we're going to try something different. You had finished second so many times, and you said the different was? I uh, never led lap 100, and I was going to try to do that tonight. Yeah, it never worked any other week or any other time I tried it. So I'm going to try it tonight, and it worked. <laughs> well, we come out of the break. You're running sixth. Seventh. Seventh. I thought you had you at sixth. Seventh. Come out of the break, you make some changes, you're up to third in a heartbeat. What happened back in the pit area that uh, you got so strong there at the end? I was a little too free the, the first, the whole 70 laps. I mean, it was all I could do to hang on. Uh, the only way I could pass cars when we hit traffic. And uh, we tightened it up a little bit, and actually we still didn't tighten it up enough. I mean, it took some traffic to bring Frank back to me until I at least had a legitimate shot at him. But once I saw I was on his bumper, I mean, he was in a no-win situation, and I was coming by. Well, your, your car was working good. Car was working good on the high side, but you made the move for the lead on the bottom there. When you got to the bottom, it stuck, and man, the car just gripped and took off. Yeah, yeah. Once I went down there, I, I saw every once in a while Frank would jump the cushion there, coming off a four, and it'd slow him down. And I just hoped he'd do that whenever I tried that. And then the last lap or two, I don't know how many I led. I was pretty much just driving defensive, taking all the lanes, so he couldn't get a run on me or give me a slider. And uh, it ended up working. Carmen, a couple of years ago, you were our series champion. Uh, second most of the year, currently third in the points right now. It hasn't been quite the year that you were hoping for, but we said earlier before the race tonight, a win like this in the 100, well, it can make or break a year. Oh, this, this definitely makes. I mean, I've won championships before, you know, three, three times, I think. I never won this race. This, this was my goal this year, and uh, we fulfilled it. I mean, wherever we finish in the points, sure, we'd like to win, but we had too much bad luck this year, you know, put us behind the eight ball, so uh, we'll take this. Talk about this team for a second. Walt Bigler, the team owner, 60 years fielding a car in central Pennsylvania and the, and the crew that you've got behind you. Yeah, I don't think there's anybody better to drive for. I mean, he doesn't complain. He knows what it's all about. I mean, I think everybody was expecting, you know, a quick time or at least a top three time when I timed 10th. You know, nobody was down there, you know, hollering at me or what was wrong or anything. Uh, we just fought from the back there and made her up through. So you make the pass for the lead. You come down for the white flag, and you're thinking, I actually thought there was about five laps to go when I got the lead because I said, now i got to try to hold him off for five laps. And I looked up and saw the white flag. I said, well, hell, this ain't bad. Yeah. <laughs> and so the final lap, the checkered flag's out. And what are you feeling at that point? Uh, I, I was just waiting for something to fall off. I mean, that's, what, that's what's happened the last 16 years, you know, whenever I'm leading this race. But when I rolled off a of turn four, I said, well, now I think I could lose all the wheels and I'd still coast across the line, you know, drag it across there. I can't believe I finally got it. Oh, uh, that you did. So, sir, tonight, Lincoln Speedway, 50th anniversary, feature winner decal to go with your Lawrence Chevrolet cap, and a big old trophy for the case, and $4,000 in prize money. How's all that sound? Uh, that's great. You know, I, I really got to thank Walt, you know, and the whole crew for, for letting me drive this car. I mean, we've had some, some bad runs, and even in this 100 lap or last year, that was entirely my fault running into that lap car, and uh, they stuck with me, and uh, I returned a favor here for him tonight. All right, Carmen, congratulations. Going to let you get your picture taken. And we're going to walk over here and talk to Carmen and Walt Bigger, but before we do, we got a 50 50 drawing to take care of here. Congratulations. Carmen Perigo Jr. drawing the winning 50 50 number tonight. So if you've got your whole, got your whole crew here with you, yes, grinning ear to ear, your boy, your, your boy does like to make it exciting, doesn't he? I'll even give you a kiss. Woohoo! There you go. A kiss from the car owner. That's the most action I've had in three months. Walt, what do you think about this guy behind the wheel? He, oh, I said before, he scares me. I, that's, it, he's the greatest. You know, that's the reason why I'm still around. And if it wouldn't be for him, I wouldn't be racing anymore. Quite a pass there into turn number three. The bonsai move, the car grips and comes out of four. What are you thinking at that point? I was holding my breath. I, I don't know. I, I'm up that words again. You hold your breath a lot when he's on the track, don't you? All the time. But it works out for the best. Uh, yeah, well, I appreciate having him. He's the greatest family you've ever been around. And, you know, him and his dad, they work real good together with me and helping me. And I, I just don't know what to say. Well, Walt, congratulations, man. 60 years of fielding a car in central Pennsylvania. You're a credit to the sport. You've got a, 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 a series championship from a couple years ago, and now you got the Sportsman 100 this year to go with all those accolades. Congratulations. Yeah, this is our fourth 100-lapper. Uh, Fourth? Yeah, the one Frank got to get up with my car. Fourth career 100 lap yeah. win for you as a car owner. Yeah, he, he drove that one year for me and he won one of them. 
It's a good career, buddy. Thanks for everything you do. Thank you. Walt Bigler, car owner of the number 93. That's why you came, buddy, to run second. But, man, you put on another good show tonight. Yeah, I have a lot of fun at these Sportsman 100s. I thank Lincoln and Gary Lawrence for allowing us to still, you know, compete in the 100 lappers. And uh, I super enjoy them. And my hat's off to the 93 team. Uh, did a good job. Uh, their whole team, they're first class. And uh, sometimes, you know, it's better to be second towards the end like that maybe than leading. And uh, maybe got a little bit too conservative. I then three lap cars there. I think it was the last three that got by there. I thought there's less than 10 to go, and I thought if I could slip past them kind of quick, I'd be all right. And yeah. I think I got all three of them in the same corner. And I yeah. thought, well, we should be all right. I'm going to make them drive around me if he can get by me. So I shouldn't have dropped to the bottom in one and two. I just was pretty good through the middle, but uh, 93 is a little bit better. You know, like I said, my hat's off to him. And, uh, We'll be back next year, I guarantee you that. Well, Frank, you did a fantastic job when you took the lead from Paul Miller down here earlier tonight. Your car was pushing through three and four, but at one point you got in there, the car set and turned, and man, you were good to go from there. I don't know what you did, but it sure worked. Yeah, it, uh, you got to kind of position them right, getting in a little bit sometimes when you got a racetrack like this and the track's a little narrow. If you hook that lip a little bit, getting in, that's, that's tough. And, uh, when you know you got to run 100 laps, you won't be hooking the cushion too many times because that will play you out a little bit kind of quick. So once we got sailing there, we was pretty good there coming up through. And uh, like I said, you know, it uh, maybe it's better to be running second there towards the end. And uh, he was good. He uh, he had to be. Uh, we were car was my guys, uh, my sponsors. I got to thank everybody a, a ton. I mean, I couldn't be doing this without them. And uh, my wife standing here alongside me, she gives me 110 percent allows me to do what we need to do to get the job done and uh, that's what it takes and uh, my my team I I feel bad for them because I mean all of them they uh, they put their heart and soul into it week after week and uh, we all do and uh, like I said my sponsors uh, if it wouldn't be for them it, this wouldn't be possible Dale Henry and Gary Koning and Fastener Specialties Martin Furman and uh, Victory Lane Construction uh, State Farm Insurance, Denise, uh, also uh, Tyson Fence, uh, Bill Hill, uh, been a real good friend and a good sponsor for quite a few years. And uh, same with my friend George Kinderman, George Kinderman Automotive. Uh, he stuck behind me here since we got our own te team together back in 2004. I got to thank him a ton. Uh, Credit Connection, Dane Hurst, uh, helping us these last two years. And uh, used to be a car owner, but now supplying us. And, uh, making sure we're, we're running our top-notch stuff. And, and I got to thank him a ton for helping and uh, just everybody. Uh, enjoyed racing with all the racers uh, that I do. And uh, this is a heck of a good team. Uh, super Sportsman, to me, is the way to grow. I mean, I like sprint car racing. Uh, I think for steel block motors and what, what our purses are and everything, Super Sportsman's awesome. Well, he's a great champion. He runs second tonight, the 99 of Frankie Herr. Coming home, top, scoring a top five. I think we were top ten last week, or last year, rather, I'm sorry. Two weeks ago, scored the victory here at Lincoln. All in all, you were right there all night long. Uh, we had a good car. Um, we were fast. It seemed like... Uh... Over here. All right, try... One over this way. There we go. I lost the <laughs> signal. All right. Uh, we had a good car. We were fast. Um... You know, I thought we had a, a good shot at winning this uh, early on. You know, we got out front. I really didn't want to get out front that early. Kind of wanted to pace myself. But um, once I started catching those guys and as heavy as the track was, uh, I knew I had to get out there. All right, losing the signal here. But so you were hoping to wait a little bit. You got out front a little bit earlier than you wanted to. But um, this car seemed to be fairly consistent through the night. Front two got away from you there at the end. All in, but all in all, a good run for you. Yeah, they were fast. Um, you know, had a good battle with the 33, and that was good. And then, uh, and then Frankie and I went back and forth there for a while, decide, uh, you know, who was going to lead the most laps there. It seemed like, and uh, I, I'm glad that we ended up third as it was. I wear, you know, I wore myself out battling with them guys early on, and on this kind of sticky track, um, just just playing out, wore myself out. The last 15 laps, I was just barely hanging on. Once I knew I didn't have a shot to. The win there, unless they wrecked, I just, just coasted around. Um, I got to thank my sponsors. I always forget to thank them every time I win. So uh, it's a good opportunity to thank them. Um, 
Tool Shed of America came on a couple weeks ago and I got him in Victory Lane there last time we were here. Um, got to thank Dale Miller and Son, uh, Startron, um, and American Muscle. And uh, thank my crew guys, uh, Mike and Huey and Carl and all these guys that, that come and help. I always forget to thank them as well. So, uh, you know, this is for them and, uh, you know, they work their butts off to give us a good car and, and I do the best I can. Well, a good run for you, Paul but these 100 lappers seem to be pretty good for you. Yeah, it's not bad. I'd like to have uh, got up front and raced them two for the lead, but uh, they were about two spots ahead of me in a class of their own there. So uh, congratulations to Carmen. He really deserved this one. The year I won, I know he passed everybody twice but me, and uh, that was the one that counted for me. So congratulations to them guys. I think you lost your mic. I think you're back now. And, uh, yeah, I want to thank my team. Well, they let me get out of the car back there and regroup, and uh, they do all the work on the car as far as getting it back out on the track. Uh, we made a few adjustments. Seemed to help a bunch there at the end. I just just missing a little teeny bit. We got to start getting a little bit better in top fives and try to get some more checker flags. Scott Dellinger currently Bro, second in points, scoring another top two, five tonight. Uh, two Sportsman 100s, two top fives, man. That's a, that's a credit to your abilities. Uh, it's just a credit to the team. Um, everybody works their butts off. Uh, Ron and Linda, like I said, put us in great equipment, and um, just a credit to the team how good they do. Tell us real quickly about your night, how to go, in a nutshell, Reader's Digest condensed version. Well, it definitely didn't go as planned starting off the front row, but uh, it was a good night. Um, you know, the guys that passed us, Carmen, Frank, Paul Miller, Dellinger, I mean, the amount of experience they got in sportsmen's, you know, five times, six times what I got uh, to run top five again, I'm happy. Um, but, you know, I want to do better, so we'll get better. That he will, Scott. Congratulations. Keep up the great work. Glad to have you with us. Thank you. I'd just like to thank all the fans for coming out. Um, uh, this is a great show, a great division, um, you know, so hopefully they can get the more sportsman races and stuff and keep coming out. It ain't easy beating Geezy's.